Tommy. Wow. The, the anticipation of that barbed wire championship match. Never been higher. I tell you what, the hatred was, it was so thick and heavy in there, I could almost cut it with a knife. This means only one thing you want anticipation rising here in the Mountain Valley Middle School. Here comes Makua, the Samoan warrior, coming out to the squirt circle for a contest. Makua is one of the true NWA on fire stars. He's been with the NWA on fire since it's since it started, since it started, boy, and I tell you what, in anticipation, I tell you, this is a man who deserves a shot at the NWA on fire heavyweight belt. Absolutely, Tommy. You know, Makua, I believe, was part of the longest reigning tag team champions oh. in on fire history. I tell you what, there was not a more exciting tag team than him and Fala, the Samoan Warriors. They were absolutely outstanding. Main focal point of that was Makua, and tonight he's in singles competition. Can Makua get the job done here in the Mountain Valley Middle School? The crowd absolutely loves Makua. Absolutely, he's got a lot of charisma, and he gets well into his match. I tell you what, he, he's a force to be reckoned with. Oh, and here comes the opponent of Makua, a man I know very well. He's a PWO star, isn't he, Johnny? Absolutely. The man from Asbury Park, your boy, Double R, Ray Ray Mars. Listen to the reaction here from the fans in the Mountain Valley Middle School. They do not like Ray Ray Mars. Trust me, I've seen him down in the BWO in Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Ray Ray Mars attacked his trainer. No deal ever since that day, Tommy Cavaldi. Ray Ray Mars has been a different man. Well, he's one of the up-and-coming stars with the BWO, from what I understand. That is indeed true. Ray Ray Mars really is a different type of competitor. He's 6'4", he's a shade over 200 pounds. For a man his size, he is quite agile. Well, I gotta tell you one thing, he's up against the NWA on Firestar here. And I tell you what, he, he's running into a brick wall here. It's going to be a definite battle here. Makua definitely has the stockiness, the weight advantage, but Mars has the height advantage. Something I Makua, I don't think, has ever, ever had in the square circle before. I'll tell you what, this is going to be a very, very interesting match. I am really looking forward to this match. Absolutely, you know, the man in black, Ray Ray Mars, really looking to get his get the job done tonight. You know, I believe this is his first appearance for NWA on Fire in Maine. Well, I'll tell you what, Makua may not have the height, but he certainly had the bulk. True. Here we go. The bell sounds. Makua with his Samoan fighting stance. It's Ray Ray Mars with that, with that innovative nature from Asbury Park. And here we go. Boot to the midsection. Mars throwing a forearm shiver. Oh, oh big elbow to the back of Makua's head. That stunned him. Yeah, Ray Ray Mars, a three-time former BWO United States champion. He really has the credentials to be a big star within this NWA on Fire BWO union. I think he's making a big mistake working for Makua's head to be honest with you. Very smart. Some moments uh -huh. have those hard heads. There he goes. There he goes. Big clothesline. Down he goes. Another one. A pair of strikes there from Makua. Mars got scared and ducked down and went to the floor. He needs a timeout. And Mars really needs to regain his semblance of where he is in the square circle. He got taken out hard with two strikes from Makua. Absolutely, boy. You get hit by Makua, boy. You're going to know it. You're going to feel it. You're going to remember it. Believe me. Mars trying to take his time, trying to regain his balance. I thought he was about to go in. He broke up the count, though. No, he's having second thoughts is what he's having. Put on some Zabisco some, some skull, and we'll be back with more On Fire action. And WA On Fire invades Springfield, Maine, as we come to the Nassau Community Center Sunday, February 12th. A special afternoon TV taping. You will see a double main event as Rob Fury tangles with the Samoan Warrior Makua. And a special tag team elimination match for the NWA On Fire. Titles included in that match, The Hoods, The Minutemen, Capital Punishment, and a mystery tag team, The Black Shadows. Plus, Sebastian Cruz, Devin Jimmy, Julian Starr, The Boys from New York City, The Cowboy, and much, much more. Sunday, February 12th at 1.30 p.m. Be there!
Don't you just hate it when stray animals make a mess of your yard? You don't want to hurt them, but you still don't want them around. What you need is the Bell & Howell Solar Powered Animal Repeller. It uses a high-pitched sound that's unpleasant to animals to rid your yard of pests, like rabbits, mice, deer, raccoons, skunks, even stray cats and dogs. Humans can't hear it, but the sound drives pests away and keeps them away for good. The built-in infrared motion detector activates it, both in daylight and even at night. It easily mounts to any surface, and it also comes with its own mounting stake, so you can place it anywhere. It works from up to 30 feet away. It's weatherproof, and since it's solar-powered, it never needs batteries. Bell & Howell's solar-powered animal repeller is yours for just $29.95, so order yours now. To order your animal repeller, call 1-800-936-5300 or send $29.95 plus shipping and handling to Animal Repeller, P.O. Box 3700, Palm Desert, California. And WA on Fire brings you Valentine's Massacre, Saturday, February 11th at the Rumford Armory in Rumford, Maine. You will see Mr. USA, Tony Atlas, with Jason Doloff in his corner, take on the Giant Pharaoh. And in a return bout, Julian Starr tries to regain the NWA On Fire Championship from Brian Fury. This and all your favorite NWA On Fire superstars will be at the Rumford Armory, 7 p.m. Saturday, February 11th. Be there! Sponsored by the Hope Association. Folks, we are back here more wrestling on fire action. Ray Mar is back in front control. You know, before the commercial break, he was not doing the best for uh, himself. Kind of I'll beat that by you know how I feel about the BWA. You and I have had a passion. I know. But during the commercial break, Ray Ray Mars, who was not in control, took his time and then Drax McClure right in the head, right into that top turnbuckle pad. Mars has been in advantage ever since. Well, I still say he's making a big mistake working on McClure's head. Oh. I, mean, I thought Ray Ray Mars was just too stupid in the game. I thought he was Oh, about. big close fist to the midsection. Into the turnbuckle goes Ray Ray Mars. Mars, I thought, knew a little bit about the Samoan heritage and how their craniums cannot be hurt. But, Ray, but now Ray's getting his cranium locked here. Oh, yeah, and Samoan is saying welcome to the NWA on fire. Taking from pillar to post, this double R. One more. Mars, oh, look at that. Mars bounced back like a ball of a wall. Oh, big more. headbutt. Oh, boy, oh, boy. What a headbutt from Makua, really rocking the brain of Mars. Only two. Gotta hand it to him. Gotta hand it to him. He kicked out on that headbutt, boy. Well, Mars is a three-time former BWO United States champion, Tommy. You know, he has a lot of heart. He's fought the best in BWO. Now he's trying to take his game to another level in NWA on fire. Ah, but he's going to find out that NWA on fire has a little bit more to offer. Absolutely. Fans at home that want to visit NWA on Fire online, please visit nwaonfire.com or for BWL, bodyslamwrestling.com. The union of two great promotions come together with Wrestling on Fire and another palm strike right to the midsection by the Samoan Warrior, Oh Makua. my goodness, I don't know how he's taking it. I'll tell you the truth. Look at this, he reversed it. Big reversal from Mars. Oh, Makua ducks under and out. Oh, look at this. Makua. Going Ray Ray over the ropes, <laughs> and then hits Cranium first yet again. Mars' equilibrium has to be destroyed here from taking shots to the Cranium by Makua. Look at the size of that Makua. I mean, when you really look at him, look at the size of him. Oh, my goodness. That's about 350 on the chest with an elbow. And Mars again finds the fortitude to kick out. I say this, he does have heart, Johnny. He does have heart. I've got to give it to him. We've got to give credit where credit is due. Shot for the Pex by Makua. Mars, it's basically been all Makua this contest. Mars has had little blurps of offense, but Makua has controlled the entire contest. Off the rope comes Ray Ray. Oh, big leap. Oh, big back snap. Oh, my goodness. What a combination of moves there for Mars. Leapfrogging Makua when he ducked under. Falls over the neck breaker. Cover. Mars only got a two. He tried to go for the, for the leg. Makua powered out. And now look at this. Mars really looking to wrench back with that rear chin lock, really trying to choke the life out of Makua. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is what Ray Ray Mars needs to do here. He needs to slow down the big man. He needs to get the adrenaline pumping for himself and slow down the momentum oh, for the Samoa Warriors. Oh, Makua hits him with his elbow in the midsection. Another one off the rope comes Makua. Oh, look at this! What agility from the big man sidestepping with a schoolboy. Only got two. Oh, big, big. Right across the throat! 
Mars now, Irish whip. Oh, good lord, he hit hard. Big back body drop by Makua. Ray Ray Mars writhing in pain on the canvas. Uh oh, Makua looking to set him up here. Big body slam by Makua. Makua needs to finish him off now. Can he get the job done? Oh, nobody home! Mars moving out of the way of that running headbutt. And now Mars going to the high risk district. It's all risk or reward here. Oh boy, he's going to the top floor, Jenny. Can Mars pick up the victory? Look at Nakua, he's waiting. Oh, 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 and he catches it mid-flight. Mars got caught. Going for a cross body at the top, Makua. Oh, big head plant. Samoan driver. That does it. Thank you for coming.